Item number SCP-3637. Index. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can the flirts drown it. Object class. Euclid neutralized. Special containment procedures. As of Incident 3637-A, 3637-Rama events have ceased completely, and SCP-3637 has been reclassified to neutralized. One year after Incident 3637-A, SCP-3637 was fully excavated and transferred to a museum operated by a Foundation Front. Archived Special Containment Procedures Access granted. The area within a one kilometer radius of SCP-3637 is to be surrounded by an eight meter high barrier with guards posted every 200 meters. If SCP-3637-1 attempts to breach the barrier, it is to be deterred using high-pressure water hoses. Description SCP-3637 is a fossilized Mysore skeleton excavated 8 kilometers east of Bynum, Montana, during a paleontological dig. Upon initial excavation of SCP-3637, a loud roar was heard by the paleontology team, with no apparent source. SCP-3637 will undergo a single 3637-RAMA event every time a thunderstorm forms or passes directly over SCP-3637. During a 3637-RAMA event, wind speeds in the vicinity of SCP-3637 will increase to around 140 km per hour. A loud roar will be heard, and salt crystals within a 119-meter radius of SCP-3637 will be drawn towards it and cover it completely. A lightning bolt will then strike SCP-3637 directly. SCP-3637 is undamaged by this, and the salt crystals will coalesce into the form of an adult Mysore skeleton, hereafter designated SCP-3637-1. SCP-3637-1 will then extricate itself from SCP-3637 and walk away. Wind speeds will return to normal, concluding the 3637 Rama event. SCP-3637-1 tends to wander aimlessly, occasionally vocalizing and digging into the ground with its forelegs. SCP-3637-1 will continue to wander and dig until rain degrades it to a point where it is incapable of locomotion. SCP-3637-1 is noted to vocalize loudly and dig more rapidly and frantically as it degrades. Rain will continue to fall in the vicinity of SCP-3637-1 until the instance dissolves completely. Only one SCP-3637-1 instance can exist at a time. A 3637 Rama event will not occur again until the current SCP-3637-1 has dissolved. SCP-3637-1 is capable of remembering previously dug areas as well as specific Foundation personnel. Leading theories to explain this phenomenon are that SCP-3637-1 is either the same entity appearing repeatedly or a group of entities sharing a collective memory. Incident 3637-A On 5-13-18, a Foundation paleontology team excavated a nearly complete Mysara nest, including several dozen fossilized eggs, approximately 11 kilometers from the location of SCP-3637. A 3637 Rama event immediately occurred at the location of SCP-3637, despite the lack of rain and the resulting SCP-3637-1 immediately vocalized loudly and proceeded to run directly towards the nest. SCP-3637-1 then absorbed salt from the ground, growing in size to a length of 15 meters, and easily scaled the barrier. On-site personnel attempted to neutralize SCP-3637-1 with high-pressure water hoses, but were unsuccessful. SCP-3637-1 then shed the excess salt, returning to its original size of 9 meters, and continued course to the nest. Personnel at the nest were advised to stand down while backup was scrambled. Upon reaching the nest, SCP-3637-1 lay down next to it and nuzzled the fossilized eggs, before collapsing into salt crystals 